Hi, I'm Zalinda. Welcome back to my channel. You know, most of the yoga instruction that we find online seems to be designed for people who are young and thin and very flexible. And the problem is that there are people with all kinds of bodies who want to practice yoga. It's not just people who are young, thin, and flexible. And so that's what I teach. I teach yoga for people with all kinds of bodies. And today I'd like to show you the top five most popular postures that I teach in my videos and also in my classes. And I'd like to show these to you in detail so that you'll know how to intensify the postures and also how to simplify the postures so that you can make them work well for you depending on how you are feeling on any given day. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at standing forward fold. If you have seen this posture in a video or in a magazine, you probably have seen some kind of version where the person is standing with their feet together and they fold forward, bringing their chest and face onto the front of the legs. Well, that version is not accessible for people with all kinds of bodies and all kinds of fitness levels. So there are actually many ways that we can practice this posture. I normally recommend that we start working on this posture in a very gentle way, something like this. Inhale, bring your arms forward and up. Exhale, bend your knees and bend at your hips and fold, bringing your hands onto your thighs. Then with an inhale, strengthen your legs and come up, arms reach overhead. Exhale, arms move forward and down. That's where we begin. Even from here, there are ways to simplify and there are ways to intensify. So let me show you some intensifications first and then I'll show you some simplifications. So once you get started with that version, the way you intensify is as your body starts to become more flexible and starts to become stronger, you can increase your range of motion. So you can start to work on, inhale, arms come up, Exhale again, bend at your knees and hips and maybe hands come onto the knees or the shins or maybe even the floor. And then when you inhale, strengthen your legs and come up. You always wanna make sure your back is comfortable. And then exhale, arms move forward and down. A way that you can simplify this posture if that feels too tiring or if it's just too intense for your body, you can also simplify by not using your arms, just do the lower body part of the posture. So that would look like this. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Strengthen your legs. Inhale, come up. Exhale, shoulders relax. There's two more options that I wanna show you that include using props. You can use a prop to rest your hands on in the forward fold. So that would look something like this. Inhale, arms go forward and up. Exhale, bend your knees and hips and fold. Rest your hands down someplace. And then strengthen your legs. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms move forward and down. So you can use something a little bit taller like a chair. And you can also use something shorter like a yoga block. Inhale, arms move up. Exhale, bend your knees and hips, fold, make sure your back is comfortable, relax your neck. Inhale, strengthen your legs and come up. Exhale, shoulders relax down. You can also work on forward fold from a sitting position. So for this one, let your feet be a little bit wide. Sit up toward the front part of your chair. Inhale, bring your arms forward and up. Exhale, begin to fold, strengthen your legs, rest your hands onto your knees, fold forward. Then inhale, keep your legs strong, come on up, arms reach overhead. Exhale, arms move forward and down. And I have one more seated version to show you. You can take your feet out even wider. Inhale, bring your arms forward and up. Exhale, strengthen your legs and fold. And if you're flexible, you can bring your hands all the way down onto the floor between your feet. 
Then inhale, strengthen your legs again and come up. Exhale, arms move forward and down. So please know that all of these are correct versions of forward fold. And anytime you see a forward fold in my video or in any videos, any class that you go to, you absolutely can adjust that forward fold to any of these versions that I've shown to make them work well for your body. Now let's look at warrior pose. This pose is typically taught as a standing posture with one leg forward and one leg back, the hips facing toward the front. On inhale, the front knee bends over the ankle, the arms go forward and up, palms come together, and we move into a back bend position here. And then exhale, straighten the knee, arms move forward and down. There are so many ways that we can adjust this posture. So the first thing to know is that if that feels too strenuous, it is perfectly fine to use a shorter stance. A stance that is shorter and wider is going to feel more stable and more comfortable. So set your feet up in a way that feels comfortable for your body. Let your hips face toward the front, engage your abs a bit, and then inhale, bend your knee, bring your arms forward and up with the palms facing toward each other. Then exhale, straighten your knee, bring your arms forward and down. If that feels not correct for your body for any reason, maybe you have tightness in your shoulders or you're a little bit tired today, you can also do a different arm position, perhaps this one. Inhale, front knee bends, arms are going to come up to this, which we sometimes call cactus arms. The elbows are bent. Then exhale, straighten your knee, arms come down. And you can also do this without moving your arms at all and just focus on strengthening in your lower body like this. Inhale, knee bends. Exhale smoothly, the knee straightens. All of these versions are perfectly acceptable. So please feel free to adjust the warrior pose so that it works well for your body. Your body's comfortable, definitely not having any discomfort in your low back. Now let's look at triangle pose, and there are lots of ways that we can do this posture. Begin by stepping your feet wide. Typically, it is taught something like this. Inhale, stretch your arms out. Exhale, side bend left, and you can bring your hand any amount down the leg. Right arm extends up toward the ceiling, and classically, we're meant to look up toward the palm. Then inhale, come up to the center. Exhale now to the right side, look up toward the left palm. Inhale, come up to the center. Exhale, arms come down. So in no particular order, I'm gonna show you some additional options. You can inhale, stretch your arms out. Exhale, side bend and continue looking forward. This is a little bit easier than turning your face to look up. This is great for people who have concerns about balance or people who have a lot of tightness in the neck. So we would inhale, come back to the center, exhale to the other side, continue looking forward, then inhale to the center, exhale, arms come down. You can also do this without moving your arms at all. So inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, side bend. You're still getting lots of benefits of strength in the lower body and stretching out along the side of your body. Inhale to the center, exhale to the other side. Inhale to the center, exhale, relax. You could also bring your hands onto your hips. Inhale here, exhale left. Inhale center, exhale right. Inhale center, Exhale, relax your arms down. And here's an intensification for those days where you're feeling really strong, really flexible, and you want to kind of kick it up a notch. You can do it in this way. Inhale, arms go out and up, palms face in. Keep the arms in this position. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, arms move out and down. 
all of these versions of triangle pose are correct. You can also do this sitting on a chair or sitting on the floor using any of the arm variations that I showed. So when you're practicing yoga and you come across this posture, triangle pose, please pick any of these options. Feel free to customize so that you're getting the right amount of challenge and also not causing any discomfort or harm to your body so that you are getting the best experience from your practice. Now let's look at a reclining twist. So reclining means that we're lying down and you can lie down on the floor if it's comfortable for you to get all the way down onto the floor. And if it's not comfortable for you to get down on the floor, you can also absolutely do this posture lying on your bed. So you're gonna to move to your comfortable lying down position. If you feel you need a pillow behind your head, by all means do that so that you'll be comfortable. Bend your knees, step your feet a little bit wider to about the width of a yoga mat. Then start to bring your knees over toward the left side, however much is comfortable. Inhale, bring your knees to the center. Exhale toward the right. Inhale, center and then keep going. This posture, this sequence is great for reducing tension in the lower body. And as you work your way through a few repetitions, your muscles are gonna start to relax, your range of motion will increase, and you'll start to find that your knees can begin to come down closer toward the floor. So for this one, start out gently, add intensity when you feel ready for it. And if you feel like, wow, this is really doing some good work for my body, but I want to intensify it even a bit more, you can do this as a static posture. So you can bring your knees to one side and hold here, stay here, continue breathing, and really work on stretching out in the top hip. And then whenever you're ready, you can come to the center, switch over and hold on the second side, again, to stretch out in the top hip. Now let's look at how to sit in the yoga practice. This is a very important one because we use sitting for a variety of different postures. You can, in the yoga practice, absolutely sit up on a chair for any of the sitting postures. I suggest sitting forward up close toward the edge of the chair and letting your feet be a little bit wide so that your sitting position feels stable and comfortable. So this is one way that you can sit Another way that you can sit in the yoga practice is to sit up on a prop like a bolster or a blanket or a yoga block, anything that elevates your hips up off the floor a little bit. If you're going to sit up on something like this, you can organize your legs any way that feels comfortable. If you prefer to fold them in, that is fine. If you prefer to extend them out, that is also fine. This is a great way to sit in the yoga practice so that your hips are comfortable, your knees are comfortable, you're able to extend your spine with ease. And in fact, sitting up on something about this height is usually the best bet for most people who are trying to sit down on the floor. And if it's comfortable for you to just sit right down on the floor, you can absolutely do that. You just wanna make sure that your hips are comfortable, your knees are comfortable, your ankles are comfortable, and you're able to pretty effortlessly extend your spine. This is the most important thing. We want to be able to sit up tall because when we sit up tall, it best enables us to be able to breathe well. It allows the ribs to expand and contract when you inhale and exhale. Please feel free to use any of these sitting postures for any sitting portions of the yoga practice. Sit on a chair, sit on a prop, sit on the floor, do whatever works best for your body. I hope you found this information helpful and it gives you some ideas about how to customize the yoga practice so that it works best for your body. Keep in mind that the yoga practice should give you some amount of challenge, but it should also feel comfortable. It should never cause pain in your body. If you have any questions about the information I presented in this video, or questions about other postures, I would love to hear from you in the comments. 
Once you watch this video and understand some of the many different ways that you can customize the yoga practice, I encourage you to go and watch some of the other videos on my channel so that you can begin your yoga practice. I do definitely offer lots of options and modifications so that you can make every video work well for your body. Thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you again soon.